How's it going, YouTube? Ant Man 816 here with another uh, deck profile. This is kind of a fun build. I want you guys to test it out. Um, it's Ice Barriers, guys. Extra deck. We will need at least two Gundeers, two uh, DeLoreans, some Gachi Gachis, and whatever else you think you might be able to make with the deck. So, we're going to get into the deck and the reasoning. I'm not going to try to make this long. I personally hate long deck profiles, but I know we all watch it, so we learn the deck. So. This build won two Gunnards because we won Reasoning, and he allows an extra normal summon. The reason why he won two because you can get them to the graveyard very easy. The reason why he won them in the graveyard is because General Guntala. Guntala, um, in phase, he can normal summon or special summon any Ice Barrier monster. So, uh, get back Gunnard, get back anything you need. Now, how do you make this deck run? Three strategists. Discard Ice Barrier, draw a card. Discard this a lot or discard uh, Gunnard because... The boss MVP is prior. It is Monster Reborn on crack. You run three extra Monster Reborns. Normal summon this, tribute it, get back the Gantala, enough set. And it's level two with a special summoning effect that can lead to a lot of gachi gachi plays. And it's targeted by salvage, so it's pretty much like running eight Monster Reborns. One die Soho for defense and the fact that once this on the field, like you did this, you guys can totally bring this back. They can't Dark Hole, Mirror Force, or Tarantula you. Your monsters just say, uh, we're not dying. Two Samurai, their 1800 attack under Legendary Ocean, they become uh, 2000 beaters. And if for some reason they're switched to defense, they nuke themselves and you draw a card. So um, their destruction might be a drawback, but if they're just going to attack anyway, draw a card, take life points, you know, good, good. So we got two defender of the ice barrier, control of the ice barrier monster, have this in defense mode, the best bet. is because 600 defense, monsters with 600 attack, and more cannot attack, so uh, it's just a nice little wall. Speaking of nice little walls, Cryomancer, level 4 monster, higher cannot declare attacks, but that includes your field. You stall this out until you're able to do something. But with Exceed nowadays, it's really just good for making the gotcha gotcha plays or synchroing into six or eights. Depending on uh, what all you have. So, one row night. Like I said, you run Legendary Ocean, you're running Reasoning. It's just 2,000 beta. You give your opponent a token, and then you can just attack the token. It gives you something that you can actually attack for games sometimes. Alright, so we got uh, Spellbreaker, the Ice Barrier. The reason why I like Spellbreaker because it's 2,000 wall. It's a level 4. can make rank 4 is easy because they attack it, not thinking that it's a wall. And then once per turn, or once a turn, you can send an Ice Barrier monster from your hand to the graveyard and at the discard outlet. And if you do so, spell cards cannot be activated until the end phase of your next turn. So, you know, that's not that bad. So we have uh, one Shock Trooper. Um, really just discard this. Uh, it's a good counter against other water cards. You tribute this card to select one face of water monster, fill, destroy it, and then you add one Ice Barrier to the hand. So this is another way to search out prior, and if you're playing against uh, Marmilla Lansing, you just pop their big boss monster. So they're just kind of like pissed. That's it for the monsters. Alright, onto the spells. You run two reasoning. This lets you get a lot of your plays. When your opponent gets wise, you can play these and uh, maybe search out some of the other combo pieces. They call seven. You uh, mill into a different monster. You know, it still works out. I like it. One more, I agreed. I wouldn't run more than one if I did. I run a dust tornado in the trap lineup. I run only a few traps. So that's what I would switch to that for to run more than one. I only have one. Uh. One on a legendary ocean. Change the levels makes things a lot easier. It makes Gantala easier. Some it makes uh, Gantala one tribute. I run two salvas. Salva Gina already said lets me get out um, the priors and let me do other combos. Uh, three searchers, three rotas. If you have three rotas, why not run them? Two magic triangles. Reveal three different ice barriers. Destroy a card in opponent's side of the field, and then you draw or then you're able to summon one of the ice barriers you get to choose. So, you know, it works out pretty well. And then, Monster Born, two torrentials, heavy, dark hole, that finish out the spells. And then finally, two compulse and a dust tornado. Dust tornado is just there for bait. And compulses, compulses are just really good this format. So, those are the traps I opted to run. Uh, no side deck. You guys can debate on what you want to run. This has been Ice Barriers by Antman816. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. There's always a move to make. Later, YouTube.